What? No time to explain! Run! No, 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 no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my. <laughs> to you. Hang on. I'll try to stay put. It certainly is lovely up here. You should see the view. Oh, you don't say. The wind is picking up. You'd better hurry. Yes, thank you. Have you thought at all about how you plan to get down? Oh, these things tend to work themselves out. There it is. You're going to run out of food soon! I hope you've got a plan! Does watch and laugh as you crash into the river count? Leave them! Just run! Hasten your pages! I can handle them! You keep running! Be trying to hit me. What did you do back there? It's a long story. This hardly seems like the time. I really should talk to Napoleon about this.
time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please, I... You cheated. You took too long. I love you. Dr. Dash, you looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime, Elise. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Dearest Arno, I can barely conceive how much has changed in the last three years. How far our roads have taken us. Sometimes I feared our paths would diverge forever. Or else come together at loggerheads like the star-crossed lovers in some hackneyed stage piece. Yet here we are. Not the same brash children we once were. Nor yet strangers. When this is over... When Germain is dead at our feet and my father rests, who then will we be? Assassin mentor and Templar Grandmaster? The continuation of the old? Or the beginning of something new? Will we shape the future of our world? Or will we retire quietly to the countryside to raise goats? I can just see you, a goat herd, leaping and climbing about the Alps. No goat would have a chance of escaping you. I do not know what the next days, months, years will bring. All I know is that we shall remain Arno and Elise. And with that, I am content. Je t'aime, Elise. I hope I know what I'm doing. The vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention with Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth 
will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming <laughs> companion. Louis Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sade. Mm -hmm. Le Pelletier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Take it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Madame. Bonjour, citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. Will you be attending the execution tomorrow? Of course, oh. won't you? Are you trying to poison my customers? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. This one is cut with lead sugar. One glass of this. Come back here! I'll turn you into horses no down! Weapon. I've been doing this for 30 years. I think I know what tainted wine is. There's 50 livres worth of wine here. What am I going to do with it? Well, you can sell it as a remedy for sore nipples for all I care. But I'm not buying a drop. Of it. <laughs> 
trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. Je me méfierai de cet homme. This may come in handy. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? Monsieur hates a drafty room. Uh, would this persuade you? Oh, oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right. Horsons larking about with bombs. Son of a... Did I just lose the git? Tonight we celebrate the death of tyranny. At once, sir. Oh. Shit. David, oh, give me a bottle of the Chateau Deef, quickly. Monsieur Le Pelletier is waiting. 
Well done, David. Je ne sais pas ce que vous faites, mais allez le faire ailleurs. You are, sir. 74 Chateau D. The vintage, if I may say. Merci. King must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. bringing the king up now. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way.
Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge? No, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Kings, merely a symbol. A symbol can inspire fear. The fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown and church are ground to dust. When you control the gold, will decide the future. Is it one I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. many on your own. Go, I'll buy you time. Tighten the bloody nose. Elise, wait! It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think you'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen? Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. 
You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. 